another radiation music video and I've exposed this artist before and this is basically a new song features a lot of the people that have sold out well, as we see throwing up the devil horns saluting Lucifer as well as the rainbow colour, we all know what that's for, the LGBT agenda, pushing it onto the masses. Well, as we see, two fingers up, two fingers in, throwing the devil horns up, promoting the devil. As we can clearly see, the devil horns is thrown it up. And there we go once again. As we can see, Devil horns, two fingers up, two fingers in, throws a little dead fast to sink into the subconscious. I mean, the song is just promoting fornication and all that garbage. You got women that are basically half naked. It's promoting porn. And the Bible specifically warns us about these certain kinds of women. They will lead you to death and will lead you to hell it's the spirit of a Jezebel well as we see the devil horns being thrown up saluting the devil like they always do and there we go once again he knows exactly what he's doing here he's doing it deliberately throwing up the devil horns once again saluting Lucifer as you can clearly see, he's thrown the devil horns up once again. There's no doubt about it. And there we go right there. Devil horns, two fingers up, two fingers in. Command the devil horns once again and thrown it up. Well, as you can see now, my point. If you think this is bad, the women in basically one of the scenes is basically completely naked I mean women like these I've got no respect for at all none because they have no respect for themselves the this this honestly I've just got no respect for these kind of women they're a joke these are the women that will lead you to hell and this is what the Bible says about these kind of women. And as we see, this is what it says in the Bible about them particular women. It is better to dwell in the wilderness than with a cunt in and an angry woman. Such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eateth and wipeth her mouth and saith, I have done no wickedness. See, so those women that you saw in the music video, this is the kind of women that we are supposed to avoid because they will lead you to hell. They really will. And trust me, I went for women like this years ago and all they do is cheat on you and they'll cheat on you and treat you like garbage. But I suffer not a woman to teach nor to observe authority over the man, but to be in silence, which imagine mischiefs in their heart continuously, are they gathered together for war, a con dro dropping in a very rainy day, and a continuous woman are alike. For that which I do not allow, I allow not for what I would that do I not but what I hate that do I but those those so who committeth adultery with a woman lacketh understanding he that doeth in it destroyeth his soul see so many people will say it's not a sin to have sex outside of marriage it clearly is simple as that well i'm not going to argue with people about that because it is a sin and if a man if a woman shall put away her husband and be married to another she committeth adultery 
See, so these women that go around sl sleeping with these stars because all they really are is gold diggers. That's all they are. This is why these women are. Uh, yo, we see rappers surrounded by loads of women. Take away that money. See if those women stay with them. They want the gold diggers. That's what they are. They don't care about nobody but money. They're the women to avoid. They don't care about you. And even God says in the Bible to avoid certain women like this. The toxic. He that committeth sin is of the devil. For the devil sinneth from the beginning for this purpose. The Son of God was manifest that he might destroy the works of the devil. So then if while her husband li liveth she be married to another man, she shall be called an adulteress. But if her husband be dead, she is free from that law, so that she is no adulteress through she be married to another man. See, this is known as a widow. If your husband died or something, it's obviously not a sin if you go find another man. God ain't gonna condemn you for it. Well, if your husband is still alive and you're going out and seeking another man, it's a sin. As a jewel of gold in a swine's snout, so is a fair woman which is without direction. Wherefore should I fear in the days of evil when the inquinity of my heels shall compass me about? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work in inquinity. See, so all these little rappers and these little fake wannabes, they're going to hell. If they don't repent and stop fornicating and lost, this is their fate. God makes it very clear in the Bible. Yes, God does forgive people, but if they, God hates the sin, not the sinner, we all know that. Lest thou shouldest ponder the, light, the path of life, her ways are movable, that thou canst not know them. Well, as we say, this is what it says about these kind of women. Avoid them, because they are going to lead you to death. Any woman that basically, basically wants sex on the first night or something, avoid them. Completely avoid them. They're not trustable women. If a woman gives herself up that easy, what's she going to be doing behind your back? That's why you gotta go for a Christian woman or something, a respectable woman, a woman that respects herself and has dignity. Not women like these that are standing, that are basically like Nicki Minaj flaunting herself like they're a prostitute and basically destroying the youth. And basically, every woman goes out dressing like these sellouts. And there we go once again for all the devil horns. Notice the colours as well. Red and black. Satanism colours. And as you can clearly see, for all the devil horns once again right here. And the colours red and black. Satanism colours. And there we go once again. Faruko, the sellout. For all the devil horns. I mean, because this artist has now basically started associating herself with artists like Nicki Minaj. So it shows that the regulation industry is connected to every single industry. They all know one another because they're all part of all the puppets that have sold out are going to associate with one another because they're sellouts. They want the love others that promote Satan. Well, as you can clearly see, saluting his master, Lucifer, with the devil horns. 
And I mean, this just proves my point even more. I said this guy from day one was a sellout. And most people probably didn't even listen. They were like, oh, this guy's not solo. Now look at it. These people are proving my point that I said years ago when I first started exposing radiation. I knew these people were sellouts from day one. Just because just they don't throw out hand signs all the time doesn't mean they haven't sold out. But, I mean, now they start coming out and throwing a cult cool symbolism or proving my point that they've sold out. This is proving my point. Well, as you can clearly see, throwing the 666 hand sign up over the eye, darkening the eye. I mean, honestly, throwing out the 666 hand sign. Well, now you see me point as well, the way the women are dressed. It's a joke. I've honestly got no respect for women like this. They're, just, they're disgusting. They really are. These are the kind of women that go around sleeping with a load of men, getting sexual diseases. And these are, the, the women like these go for losers like these. Because, I mean... And the gold diggers as well. I mean, honestly, women like these are a joke. Avoid them. They're, they're not worth anyone's time. They're really not. Well, as we see, thrown at the devil horns. This is the only reason why these women are around him. Because he's got money. Take away that money. These gold diggers will go find somebody else. Because that's all they are, gold diggers. As you can see, thrown at the devil horns once again, promoting Satan. Oh, and what a surprise, thrown it off again. I noticed his t-shirt, who was on his t-shirt. It's not really a surprise, because we all know these people are against, against Christianity. Many people say in the world, Oh, Christianity is just used to dumb the masses down. Which is, uh, which is just completely stupid. Because if religion was, if Christianity was created to dumb everybody down, why are they banning Bibles in certain countries? Why are they banning the Bible in school? Why are they charging people money to get a Bible? Don't you think they will give it for free? And as well, why would they hate Jesus Christ so much all over the media and be anti-Christian? This proves Christianity was not created by the New World Order to enslave people. So, fail. Anyone that says that clearly doesn't know what they're talking about. Because if it was created by the New World Order to enslave everyone... Why would they be anti-Christian? The ones that are created by the New world, world Order is Islam, Buddhism, because they're not against that. Never hear them against them religions, do you? But if you look at his t-shirt, you've got the Emperor Nero. We all know what he did. He slaughtered thousands of Christians. Nero was to believe to be a Catholic. What big shock that is, isn't it? Nero was believed to be basically an, the Antichrist because that's how evil he was. He tortured Christians, threw Christians in the arena. And many people say, oh, that didn't happen. Yes, it did. He, bit, he threw them in the arena. So, for entertainment, that's how sick the Romans were. They would make people fight for the life so they could get off on it for entertainment. It's what the Romans like. I mean, we all know that Rome is, is connected to Babylon. We all know that. And Rome never really failed to start with it was always in power 
it came we know that it came back in power and Nero was anti Christian, murdered loads of Christians because they wouldn't accept Catholicism. And of course these people are going to promote people like this because they're anti-Christian themselves. I mean, when you got him thrown out the devil horns, because these people think that Satan's going to win. Satan ain't going to win. Satan's going to be destroyed on Judgment Day, and he'll be in hell. These people think that, oh, Satan's going to beat the creator. No, it ain't going to happen. Satan is not powerful as powerful as God. God is a cr the creator. Satan is this demon. That's all he is. He's not more powerful than the creator, and that's a fact. But these people promote s these evil people like Nero. Oh, look, even more proof. And if many now people should see that he's not even trying to hide it now. That's what's up with these people. They're openly coming out now and proving my point that I said for years. I nobody else was really what really exposing these. This is why I started exposing them because they needed to be warned against. Because not many people are exposing regulation music, the Puerto Rican artists. That's why it needs to be warned about. People need to avoid these people's music because they're complete sellouts. All they talk about is sex, money and drugs and all that like they always do. Devil horns thrown it up twice. Here and here. Not even trying to hide it. They're openly professing now that they're a Satanist. There we go, still want to deny, still want to say he's not a sellout, there you go, there's all the proof, he's, uh, he's part of the Illuminati now, the people that flow, throw up the Illuminati pyramid are owned by the Illuminati, he's part, he's in the Illuminati now, he's not, this is what many people don't understand as well, Yes, he's a part of the Illuminati, but he's not a part of the high up elite. The high up elite control everything. The Illuminati only control only control certain. Then again, they don't control nothing because the devil controls it all. That's who the elite is: the devil and the fallen angels. The Illuminati is the, the devil's puppets. So these are puppets. It's what the Illuminati is, puppets. And he's one of them. Thrown up the Illuminati triangle, the known. Jay Z's thrown up, Kanye West. They've all thrown it up. Notice the light behind it saying that the Illuminati is the light. No, it isn't. But this just proves my point that they've sold out. No doubt about it. And look what we have here as well. Notice the skull with the jewels and so we all know what the skull represents, the occult, skull and bones, and it's also associated with witchcraft. See these people are openly admitting now, they're not even trying to hide it, they're really not. Again from the devil horns and as well from the six 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 hand sign. I mean, the song is just bombarded with, it's just basically 5 minutes 57 full of occult symbolism, because that's all the song is full of. Occult symbolism, pornography, so it's full of garbage music. 666 hand sign, and then the devil horns. I mean, Joe, this song is just full of occult symbolism, it's not a surprise. And once again, he's through it twice now. This is at 4 minutes 45. He throws the 666 hand sign up. Once again, this is twice he's through it now. Threw up the devil horns multiple times. Not even trying to hide it. These people have sold out. And this is proof. And as we see, once again, unbelievable. The amount of times they throw up the devil horns. 
once again, devil horns, devil horns, thrown it up. Thrown it up over and over again. There you go, once again, thrown it up twice again. Saluting Lucifer. And he basically just keeps throwing it all over and over and over and over again. Making sure you see it. Indoctrinating you with occult symbolism. This is another song. And this is even more bombarded with occult symbolism as we see the black and white. Then we got this person that's got a t-shirt on. And what does that have on it? The snake. A red snake. Simulating Lucifer, Satan is known as the snake in the Garden of Eden. So as we see, promoting the snake and as well, red and black, Satanism colors. And now we go again, throwing out the devil horns. Right here, two fingers up, two fingers in, throwing out the devil horns. Once again. And of course he's going to wear a hat that says NASA. We all know why, because NASA are liars and deceivers. Exactly what these sellout artists are, so... It fits in perfectly. As you can see as well, darken with the right eye. You can only see the left eye. What a surprise. And as well, promoting, promoting NASA. Now we go once again, throwing the devil horns up. Once again, I mean, honestly, these are his songs are just full of occult symbolism, as you can clearly see. Now we go once again, throwing it up again. Just can't help yourself, can I? Over and over and over again, throwing up the devil horns. And this is basically a live concert of Faruko. And you've got this woman throwing out the 666 and you can actually see her panties. For her dress. I mean, that's how revealing it is. I mean, might as well be wearing nothing. You can clearly see it all there. I mean, honestly. And as you can see, 666 hand sign. I mean, this is what women wear today. I mean, women like this, like I say, I got no respect for. I mean, she might as well be have nothing on because you can see everything. Not really a surprise. I mean, over sexualization, promoting it onto the masses because when somebody probably sees this woman, they'll go look at pornography. That's the only agenda behind it, and that's the point why they do it. Because they want you stuck in lost and sinning. And as we see here, what do we see? Faruko standing inside of a Illuminati triangle. The things built in the shape of a pyramid. And then you got this. Looks like a sun. Which would be Sun worship pagan. What as we see, stood inside of a Illuminati pyramid. And notice the cube, the black cube agenda, connected to sign, marker, and all that. Meme, standing inside of a Illuminati triangle. So is it all? Well, as you can clearly see, stood right in a luminary triangle. And as you see, it basically looks like a sun glowing. Looks like a sun, sun worship. Well, as you can clearly see, it's built in the shape of a pyramid. And there we go. Standing inside the Illuminati Triangle. Daddy Yankee did the same thing. And basically when he was called out for it, 
He just said, oh, it's triangles. No, stand inside of an Illuminati triangle simulates that you are in the Illuminati and that you are BC. It's like an induction. As you can clearly see, standing inside of a Illuminati triangle. No doubt about it. It's promoting it. As you see here, Illuminati triangles and the black and white agenda of darkness becomes one with blindness. Freemason occult agenda, as you can clearly see. And this is another music video that basically just promotes drugs. Kosh is known as weed. That's what it's known as, and as you can see, weed, it's promotion of getting high. Because these people want you to get high because it puts you in an altered state of consciousness. So you can be all... So you can be open to demonic possession, that's why they promote this drug so much. And then of course you got them going, low gangsters want creepy kosh. And then you got Nicki Minaj saying this, make some room, hole, keep a hundred feet away. Fifty trucks, when I pull up, we a fleet away. You ain't on my throne and ain't even a seat away. See, we all know Nicki Minaj thinks she's the queen of rap. She's not a queen of rap at all. I'll tell you what she is though, a queen of being a sellout. Queen and a prostitute in herself, like she's a prostitute. Is that what she dresses like? But thanks to Nikki, all these new can see the way. I got the creepy. I ain't talking about the gangs though. Had all these rocking pink hair and bangs though. Now I got them rocking inches now. But I'll leave these hanging like now. Wordplay got em stepping up my pennies now. Still stick me for my flow like syringes. Still kicking I mean you get the point where it's just garbage. With my plug I call him Poncho. Put this I mean as you can see she did, she just basically brags about I mean there's one song where she brags about sucking a man's you know what. See, these, these are, the, as I said, these are the women that you avoid. Because women like these, they will sleep with a load of men behind your back. They're not trustworthy. These women will just sleep with anyone. They basically prostitute themselves. That's basically what it's like. They prostitute themselves out. That's why she's always dressing all the time like she wears the BDSM collar around the neck. Because that's what it's all about. They want you stuck in bondage and sin. Now I'm bawling like I'm Sosa in a Lamborghini Rosa. Yelling Java, Puerto Rico, oh my s home, Rosa. But now I'm Pow, and then you got Bad Bunny, cr creepy, creepy, kush, kush. It's weed. It's what it is. Here we got by the TS girls that are easy to assemble, as in GT, two hundred boxes of a paper that I ordered on eBay. PR is already legal. I sign the law, smoking like Snoop Dogg and Wiz Khalifa, cats want kush, do not want friska. See, you can actually buy, this is a proven fight, you can actually buy weed on the deep web. It's called Sulk, something Silk Road or Sulk Road, 
you can actually buy weed on the, you can buy heroin whatever drug you want and it's untouchable and untraceable because you don't actually pay with real money you pay with bitcoin so it's an, and that basically trans it's basically a digital micro transaction those bitcoins that you have basically change into money because bitcoin nowadays is worth more than money well that, that's where the where the run about the buying weed that's where it is and the and then you got the pounds i buy them and they arrive by fedex package next day via express having a smoking wrapper and as you can see this garbage and then you got on and then you got this sell out here 21 savage the only thing that's savage about him is he's a, there's actually nothing savage about him he's a clown Call baby girl up, it's time to smoke something. 21, I know you heard I'm slaughter gang. I smoke something, yeah, off the head. Yeah, I is not, never wrote nothing. Facts. Pretty face, fat, I'm trying to poke something, yeah, yeah. Yeah, back it up, baby, let me see you. See, this guy's a complete clown, that's all he is. He's no better than these women that flaunt herself like a prostitution. He's actually worse than them. And as you can see with the lyrics on and on and on, bragging about drugs because they want you to smoke drugs. All their gender. Yeah, spilling codeine on my Gucci shirt. Yeah, a whole lot of racks and the crippy, the crispy. And she throw that back like a frisbee on guard. Uh, as you see, he's calling himself a god. That's why. That's probably why he's got a cross tattooed on the middle of his head. It's blasphemy. He has a t he has a cross tattooed in the middle of his head. And then he's saying things like this, and she throw that back like a frisbee on God. So he's calling himself a God. This is what these people believe, that they are a God and that they are enlightened. As, as the song that this sellout did with Poe something. You're seeing him throwing up devil horns and the light was beaming from behind him these people believe that they're a god well as we can see uh -huh, i'm smoking creepy kush fill the backwards up with the whole bush i might pass her to the team because she old news see this is what these people do and these women that go around sleeping with loads of men have got sexual diseases and they're nothing but a joke they, they basically prostitute the self out these women you stay away from they've probably got so many sexual diseases and two they're gonna lead you into death because that's what it says in the bible a woman that as it says the bible verse that showed a uh, adulterous woman wipe her mouth like she has done nothing wrong done nothing this is what women god was talking about these that basically have sexual intercourse and then act like they've done nothing wrong and as you see you're trying to make a hundred m's using pro tools i'm may bark and i'm paid lay back Put a bullet hole in your wave cap on guard. There you go again, on guard. 
You better pay me now, I don't court slack. All these V's. And as you can see, more stupid lyrics. Well, as you can see, it's just promotion of drugs and promotion of fornication, like always. Not really a surprise.